look in the about quarter eleven and we've got about 17 18 knots of wind and we're romping along at seven knots at the moment um, it's a bit lots of well there's a few patches of blue sky we might see some sun but otherwise it's a bit overcast at the moment but at least we're sailing again aren't we nice to be sailing well, motors off second time we've sailed because ross uh, yvonne and i were sailing yesterday with you boys who are in bed but we've lost our crew today so we're back to us just us Passage today across the Minch is pretty straightforward, it's just a straight line. Um, we've got, as Mary said, we've got some decent wind and we're making seven knots. The tides, there is a bit of tide running against the wind at the moment, but that should change in about uh, half an hour and it'll be going with the wind, which means we won't get a wind over tide situation. But it will mean we might have to put in a tack at the other side of the, of the Minch. So the Minch is a bit notorious for bad weather, but we've got another good day for it today. We're hoping for it to be able to sail all the way across. We have a visit from uh, just a lone dolphin on the way in. We were in the town marina, uh, rather than the new one that's been built further out. And what would it have looked like back in the day of sail? And we decided to take a road trip around the island so we probably went down every side road on the island to the coast. It's beautiful, very very rugged coastline on the west and beautiful beaches. Visited several of the what's called black houses on the west. Wiggle your bum a bit. Built with uh, no mortar, covered with uh, turf and, and thatch, and held down with big rocks to stop the wind blowing the roofs off. I've forgotten how I've forgotten how dark it was in here. Eh? Peat. This would have been where the animals were kept. And then the slurry would have gone out the side and kept it clean in here. And there's all these tools for cutting the peat and cutting the grass. And, and Mary's found herself the warm spot. And with smell of vision, you'll be able to smell the peat. There's the peat fire. Very primitive, but they had some mod cons, some wee seat, and that's where they would have slept in. These little spots in here, there's where the bedroom. The cold water with a jug and a, and a bowl. You see the peat fire burning. And the smoke would have gone up and just filtered through the roof. Difficult to imagine how harsh the life was in these places back in the day. And further along the coast we went up to see the Callanish Stones, a Neolithic stone circle with uh, lots of history to it. So I wonder if this entrance here from the west side would have been where people kind of walked in to this ceremony or event that was happening here. 
this is the inner circle of stones, which is where it's the most important bit. The stones look as though they've been selected for the patterning on them or the significant shape. And Mary had a bit of a count up of the number of stones, check everything was there. According to the information on the site, this was actually uh, added later, it wasn't actually part of the original stone circle. The landscape around here was formed during the last ice age, 15,000 years ago. Uh, just left basically stone and then the heather uh, has built up the peat reserves on the, on the landscape. And then of course man came along and used the landscape for farming and agriculture. So it's an ancient landscape. And these are perhaps more recent relics of uh, civilization left in the field below it. And after a long day we headed home but uh, we passed a huge fire that was burning on the hilltop uh, above Stoneway and it took them several days to get it under control. Several more black houses we visited the following day and some beautiful beaches on the uh, west coast. I wonder what this strange thing is for. It's not like a light, it looks like it uh, maybe makes a noise when the tides at a certain level or waves are coming in. Turns out it's a climate change art project about rising sea levels. What's this lovely place called Burnaray? Um, locals. Around by the car, that's beautiful water. We did some scouting while we were away looking at anchorages we might use. This is uh, Rodal. We didn't actually manage to get in there because of the weather. The beaches on the west are fantastic, you know, miles and miles of sand and breaking waves. Stoneware on a very smoky morning. The sky was coloured, tinted with the smoke from the hill. A very peaty flavour to it. One of the highlights of the day was definitely the Sheant Islands. We went there just because the weather allowed us to, and that was fantastic wildlife and scenery. So that's us leaving Loch Maddy, uh, just sheltered last night after it was a bit of a blow last night. Um, certainly getting thrown around in the anchors we were in. It wouldn't have been nice out here. There's a big swell out here, but I think it's partly, partly caused wind against tide as we come out of Loch Maddy. But uh, nice anchorage, very open, not much shelter from the, the wind, but it kept the waves down anyway. 
looking forward to a nice morning, another sparkling sunny morning. Now uh, looking forward to a nice day's sail. There's enough wind for a sail. Not quite sail. I think it's going to be maybe a bit rolly, but um, it's about the north east swell coming in. It'll be a lovely, lovely day. I hope we don't see any more submarines anywhere near us. So what do we have on the radio at the moment? Port Master! Yay! Where are we? Which is east of the Hebrides. East of the Hebrides at this nearest. So we're at Lock Boysdale at Marina. Um, a bit of a squall when we came in, but we managed to survive that. There's a lovely old fishing trawler, converted fishing trawler. I think it's a liverboard or a cruiser now. Yeah, old varnished hull. And there's also a vessel at the end there that we think we've seen before. So we're going to have a chat with him later. Our master coming to talk to Mary. Keeps us looking resplendent. Not many people here. We're the first here again. Yeah. Say that again. We're the first people who hang sailing this year, I think. We seem to be first everywhere. Yeah. It's too cold for everybody else. We did get some of the hail, the snow that was promised to us. A lovely old troll at the end that we uh, thought we knew. We saw an amble that even made it into the logbook. Strange crossings here for otters. Bit of a fixer-upper here. If anybody's interested in a project. I think it's probably beyond uh, saving. Good traffic into Boysdale. Cargo vessel coming in. And the traffic here is the ferry service to the island. Kelly McBrain. I wasn't really expecting him to reverse into the marina we were in. There you go. That's what he seems to be doing. Brilliant harbour. Very impressive. I'm sure Mary was out with the fenders. We're first everywhere at the moment. First daft buggers 